By the time the system comes into play, the damage is done. They're not locking up seven-year-olds. I, I don't, the, the system is rigged, but why, all the more reason not to help it. Going to a party that ain't nothing but sin, drinking, maybe fornication. Another drama is apparently brewing in Hollywood, along with the most recent information on Bishop Jake's shocking fall from grace. While some of Philip continue to watch the drama play out, there have been rumors circulating on social media that he was caught red-handed at one of the alleged parties. Apparently, their connection is deeper than we all realized. Denzel Washington is refusing to back down. Rumor has it that he has been subtly disparaging Bishop Jake without even calling him out by name. How do you inquire? Well, in an interview with CBN regarding his film, he revealed some spiritual tea. Furthermore, it appears like he was quietly making fun of T.D. Jake's recent antics. The grapevine claims that Denzel shared some extremely profound insights about his values and how they influence his life both on and off screen. And Roman delves into this, the, the issues around the, the legal system. The guys have this huge showbiz mindset mixed together with Christianity. For him, faith was much more than a sentimental concept, and it's undoubtedly not for everyone. You have to make advantage of your gifts, as the titan of film remarked. You know, religion by itself is meaningless. Hence, not everyone needs to be an advocate. But here's the thing. Apparently, Denzel had this epiphany where a mystic woman foresaw that his career in Hollywood would help him become a worldwide celebrity rather than a preacher in some stuffy old church. And you know what his pastor said to him when he wondered if preaching was his calling? Denzel seems to already possess all the necessary skills to shine the light on individuals who choose to follow their faith in secrecy, such as Bishop Jates, who has reportedly attended Diddy's dashes on a regular basis. At the Christmas Eve service at the Potter's home, the 66-year-old pastor seemed to address the accusations, labeling the people making them liars. I've been in a storm, I've been up under attack, I'm fine. But there's no going back once you're in the spotlight for exposure. Denzel alluded to biblical themes in his discussion of his newest film, naming his character to demonstrate the breadth of his faith and its applicability in the modern era. It was Denzel's method of using his talent to append the status quo and draw attention to the most sinister periods in the business. Our more basic natures and our higher natures, in my opinion, are constantly at odds with one another. Denzel Washington, though, isn't merely here to incite drama. He's out here advocating for change with his talent, but some others. To put it mildly, they're picking up some lessons the hard way. Denzel Washington's unshakable faith has been a beacon for people around him in the midst of turbulence and scandals. Consider the infamous Oscar slap scandal from 2022, for example. As it happens, Denzel was trying to patch things up backstage following the entire incident. Denzel shared some wisdom in an interview, cautioning against the devil appearing at the most auspicious times. Even during the Oscars, he uploaded a little clip from Will Smith's victory speech, implying that when the devil gets involved, there might be a good thing going on. The devil got a hold of that, of that circumstance that, that night, and fortunately there were people there. However, Bishop Jake's charges go much beyond a simple slap. He personally addressed the matter after being accused of misbehavior at Diddy's bashes, stating, he has nothing to repent of, the worst that could happen. If all of this is true, all I have to do is truly and deeply apologize from my heart. The blood has sufficient power to atone for all sins. Whatever the case, the blood would make everything right, but I don't have to feel bad about it. The worst part is that such transgressions or bad relationships are unlikely to go unpunished. And with Washington's backlash, we might see the downfall of yet another powerful person. You find different handles, you know. You know, I made every effort to wear the actual. Denzel's modesty is ingrained in him. It's not simply an act for the cameras. He frequently visits hospitals and makes unnoticed donations to institutions. However, he is unable to put up with the recent apparent departure from faith displayed by T.D. Jakes, the influential Potter House Church preacher. 
His relationship with the music entrepreneur dates back a long way, and it appears that they have similar opinions about their hobby. There have been rumors that Bishop Jake's unwavering morals suffered while he had sex with several different men at wild parties thrown by troubled music producer Shan Puffy Combs. Besides, they haven't exactly been hiding it. Social media fans are expected to witness yet another spectacular collapse as it appears that a new hot drama is about to unfold. This is the season of exposure, as someone said. He won't be the final one. It does not surprise me. And yet another commenter pointed out that Jake had issues in the past, praising Pope John Paul and spending time with Oprah. It was said, among other things, that T.D. Jakes received an anonymous email just before the new year that Kessie Ventura was helping the FBI with a Diddy probe. We all know that she accused the hip-hop entrepreneur of horrible deeds during their 10-year relationship, and she filed and settled a civil action against him. Recently, a highly revealing email that claims Bishop Jake is not a child of God was leaked to the public. He is definitely a Freemason, just like Diddy was. It is also said that the devil continues to speak for his soul. He will never be able to leave or escape that brutal reality. And based on people's responses, it appears that the day of his personal judgment is drawing near. Thank you for being concerned about me. I can feel you. I can feel you. I'm okay. Come on. Rapper and hip-hop artist Maze also shared his knowledge of Diddy and Jake's relationship in addition to all of the above. For fans of hip-hop, Maze and Diddy's financial dispute is nothing new. Maze was formerly among the top performers connected to Diddy's Bad Boy label. But things took a bad turn for the two of them in the early 2000s when Maze voiced his grievances, claiming that Diddy was abusing him and underpaying him for the labor he had put in. You're not getting the respect, the money, or the publication that you deserve. Maze has been outspoken about his dissatisfaction with Diddy, particularly since the latter's 2020 Grammy address in which he criticized the industry's lack of regard for black music. Maze charged Diddy with being a hypocrite and denying him the opportunity to publish for a whole 24 years. But what you wonder is Pastor T.D. Jake's involvement in this fight with people. Mace claims that Diddy has an unexpected relationship with the well-known minister. Mace dropped a bombshell in his song Oracle Lui, The Liberation of Eminbia, which seems to have gone unnoticed by everyone. He performed, rapped, and struck a deal with T.D. Jakes. He didn't pay me because of this. He was aware that I would eventually be free, and he didn't want me to speak what I'm going to say now. Evidently, Mace was hinting at the time that Diddy had struck a dubious arrangement with T.D. Jakes, which led to a protracted collaboration. These repulsive revelations are currently making the rounds on social media. These individuals have put together a coordinated, large-scale attempt to discredit me. Sadly, neither Diddy nor T.D. Jakes had the courage to address Mace's accusations, which just served to fuel rumors. Nevertheless, some fans have conjectured that Mace might be alluding to an event from 2014 in which Diddy gave $1 million to TD's Dallas church, saying, Bishop Jakes is one of the most transformational leaders of our time who has made a profound impact on my life. Diddy personally backed their collaboration at the time. We are so grateful that he has joined the Revolt family and is using his talent to uplift society. Nonetheless, several detractors questioned Diddy's motivations, wondering if he was trying to gain favor with T.D. Jakes or get a tax deduction. I don't want the publishing, I want the money. Come on, y'all think he doing a good thing because he give back some publishing? Come on, man. Others emphasized Diddy's history of taking advantage of and underpaying musicians. Money, not publication, is what I seek. Come on. Do you guys really believe that his publishing setbacks prove he's doing good? Man, get moving. A video of Jake's attendance at Diddy's 53rd birthday celebration went viral on social media in 2022, fueling even more fervor. The executive vice president of TD Jake's Entertainment, who was also present at the celebration, responded to the criticism by clarifying that the pastor made a fleeting appearance. Either way, they were suspicious of Jake's attendance at Diddy's parties and his seeming closeness to the hip-hop tycoon. 
Gene Deal, Diddy's ex-bodyguard, claimed that the Saints shouldn't be associated with sinners. He would be found at any kind of Diddy party or any kind of uh, place with Diddy. Of course, everyone is aware of the unsettling events that take place at Diddy's notorious parties. Celebrities have been hinting for years about questionable conduct and goings-on at Diddy's private parties, in addition to insiders. And based on the criticism, Bishop Jakes was used to similar outbursts. At first, I thought T.D. Jakes might be trying to be the light before P. Diddy, but seeing him partake with the world by being at his party is a whole different ballgame, someone wrote. And yet another person mentioned, therefore, not shocking. It is suspected that any pastor who associates with Diddy is not holy, while the publicity isn't the best when you're linked to Diddy. Furthermore, it seems that many of his close associates are hiding something really disgusting. However, people, what are your thoughts on this? Is T.D. Jakes involved in Diddy's parties? And is there a deeper bond between them than just faith?